Good morning and welcome to Tuesday Morning Prayer on a beautiful morning. Wow, the sun has just come out after a massive hailstorm. And I pray wherever you are, you're nice and snug and that the sun is shining and the angel of joy is your companion today. <clears throat> we light this light this morning as part of our seven days of prayer for all the members of our community, past and present, but especially for those who've been struggling with this energetic shift, leaving many debilitated and lethargic. But this morning I want to focus on one member, and that is our dear sister Jane in Coventry, who was ordained a minister, an interfaith minister with brother Rob, Murray, and sister Laura in London, I think it's six years ago now, and Jane is quite poorly, and we really do need to remember our dear sister this morning and send her all our love and blessings. But we also remember each one of you here with Sister Jan. So thank you for being here with us this morning. And now let us call on the Spirit of God. Our prologue for today, we enter the eternal and infinite garden with reverence to the heavenly Father, Mother God, the earthly mother and all the great masters and reverence to the holy, pure and saving teaching and reverence to the brotherhood and sisterhood of the elect. Tuesday morning, we commune with the angel of joy saying, angel of joy descend upon earth and give beauty to all beings we now reflect and feel ourselves absorbing vibrations of joy from the beauties of nature as you contemplate the colors of sunrise sunset the song of a bird the aroma of flowers so let us just stay with that. In this beautiful cathedral of God, a cathedral that has for its roof the galaxies, the stars, brother sun and sister moon, and where the whole family of God can come together. The children of God from many different beliefs and embrace the one God in each other, a God who has many names, but still the one true loving Father, Mother, God. So let's stay with that just for a moment and let us embrace one another. And we bring into the center our brothers and sisters of the community with dear sister Jane and we invite the Spirit of God to breathe the very breath of God's healing into our dear sister. Amen. <clears throat> this morning, I want to read for you, if I may, a reflection from the late Father John O'Donoghue from his beautiful book, To Bless the Space Between Us, A Book of Blessings. And I was given this about five minutes ago, and I just opened the book at random, and this is what I got, A Blessing of Angels. May the angels in their beauty bless you. May they turn toward you streams of blessings. May the angel of awakening Stir your heart to come alive to the eternal within you, to all the invitations that quietly surround you. May the angel of healing turn your wounds into sources of refreshment. May the angel of the imagination enable you to stand on the true thresholds at ease with your ambivalence and drawn in new directions through the glow of your contradictions. 
May the angel of compassion open your eyes to the unseen sufferings around you. May the angel of wildness disturb the places where your life is domesticated and safe, take you to the territories of true otherness, where all that is awakened in you can fall into its own rhythm. May the angel of Eros introduce you to the beauty of your own senses, to celebrate your inheritance as a temple of the Holy Spirit. May the angel of justice disturb you to take the side of the poor and the wronged. May the angel of encouragement confirm you in worth and self-respect, that you may live with the dignity that presides in your very soul. May the angel of death arrive only when your life is complete and you have brought every given gift to the threshold where its infancy can shine. May all the angels be your sheltering and joyful guardians. Oh, that beautiful. We dedicate that to our dear Jane. And we call on the Archangel Raphael to encompass each one of us here who are hurting. All our friends on social media, our past members, and those in different belief systems who are struggling today in their call of God. For those in our prisons, especially on death row. For those who are dying alone at home. For the homeless. For the children of God facing the famine and going through it now in southern Sudan. May the angel of the sun with the angel of healing touch their hearts today and bring to them God's peace. And I'm guided now to pick up the wonderful book Psalms Now and to read our psalm for today. And it's by Leslie Brandt, Psalm 102. Oops, my hand just slipped. Good Lord, where are you? If you really do exist, why don't you come out of hiding and do something about this creature in distress? Wow! I am physically weary. I am mentally depressed. I am spiritually defeated. I can't eat, can't sleep. I am like garbage, discarded refuse in the back alley like yesterday's newspaper shuffled around by the wind. I feel like some sort of zombie, some non-entity, some nothing that people, if they acknowledge, would only curse. I eat crow and drink gall. Now even you have tossed me aside like some moth-eaten garment that no one could possibly want. But the prophets have proclaimed your name, and the scriptures declares your mercy, and the old saints pass on your promises. You do reign over our world, they say. You do show concern for the poor clods of this earth. Good Lord, prove it. Look down from, an, from wherever you are on your creatures wallowing in wretchedness. Deliver us, O oh God, set us free. I must take comfort in your everlastingness that you who outlive seasons and centuries 
who have blessed the saints of the past can also care for your servants in this fearful hour. For your years have no end, nor do the destinies of those who trust in you. Wow! Of all the Psalms, that Psalm really does press all the buttons for me. I pray it's pressed them for you too. And now let us bring it up a notch and bring in the joy of the Lord who is our strength. And we pray, we sing this beautiful song with Marilla quietly. I will never forget you, my people. So let us celebrate. I will never forget you, my people. I have called you on the pond. with the angel of joy for touching you now as you lie there debilitated, lethargic and weak. And we thank the Lord for blessing our community of spiritual eco-warriors who rise up despite how they're feeling and unite as a loving family, embracing the poor. I will never forget you. I have caught you on the palm of my hand. I will never forget you. I will not leave you often. I will never forget And we say thank you, Lord, for this new day and for laying your healing hand on each one of us. We now celebrate your goodness to us. Thank you, Lord Christ, our brother, our teacher, our mentor, and our friend. So the Lord will never forget his people and certainly not forget those who've dedicated their lives to the divine source in ministry. So we now come to part of the divine office for this Tuesday morning, the Office of Lords, and we read the scripture reading. And the reading 
is from Joel, the prophet Joel, chapter 2, verses 12 to 13. Come back to me with all your hearts, fasting, weeping, mourning. Let your hearts be broken and your garments torn. Turn to the Lord your God again, for he is all tenderness and compassion, slow to anger, rich in graciousness, and ready to relent. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the short response read, It is he who will free me from the snare of the hunters. It is he who will free me from the snare of the hunters. And from the evil word, it is he who will free me from the snare of the hunters. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, it is he who will free me from the snare of the hunters. And the Benedictus Antiphon, Peter, I do not tell you to forgive seven times, but seventy times seven, says the Lord. And now, my dear brothers and sisters, I invite you to join me for the beautiful canticle of Zechariah, the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and he has redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour in the house of David his servant, as he promised to his prophets from of old, a saviour who would free us from our sin, from the hands of all our enemies, so his love for our fathers is revealed and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear, and saved from the hands of our enemies, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. And as for you, little child, you shall become a prophet of God, the Most High. You shall go before the Lord to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people their salvation, through forgiveness of their sin and the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high, and he will give light to those who sit in darkness and those who dwell in the shadow of death, he will guide them to the way of peace. We pray the Gloria. <clears throat> Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And we repeat the Benedictus Antiphon. Peter, I do not tell you to forgive seven times, but seventy times, seven times, says the Lord. And now we come to our morning intercession. Let us bless Christ, who is our bread from heaven. Response. Come, bread of life, strengthen us. And the next, Lord, give us a share in the bread of the Eucharist. Fill us with the blessings of your paschal sacrifice. Response. Christ, bread of life, strengthen us. May we take your word to our hearts in faith and obedience. Yield a harvest in us through our perseverance. Response, Christ, bread of life, strengthen us. Make us eager to fulfill your plan for the world, that all fates may come together and spread the great message of peace and love. Response, Christ, bread of life, strengthen us. We have sinned, Lord, we have sinned. Take away our guilt by your saving grace. Response, Christ, bread of life, strengthen us. And now I want to pray this beautiful prayer that Sister Jane sent me weeks ago when my brother Shamey was in an induced coma after he had his right leg off. But thankfully he's making a good recovery now, but it's going to be a long uphill struggle for him. But I want to thank Jane for this lovely prayer. May I humbly offer this prayer to you and your family. Thy name is my healing, O my God, and remembrance of thee is my remedy. 
Nearness to thee is my hope, and love for thee is my companion. Thy mercy to me is my healing and my succor, in both this world and the world to come. Thou verily art the all-powerful, the all-knowing, the all-wise. And those words are from the founder of the Baha'i faith, Bahula. And in thanksgiving to the founder, we pray for the 16 Baha'i members who are still being tortured and imprisoned in Iran. And they've been there for some time. So we pray for their release today. Let us now bring whatever may be troubling us or those who've asked us to pray for them. Let us bring them now into this beautiful cathedral of love. And let us name our issues, let us bless them and give them to a loving God in a mindset of gratitude and say thank you God for answering our prayer. So let us be still for a moment. <clears throat> and now we pray for each one of you gathered here for our dear sister Jan and for those of you who have not logged in for the brothers and sisters of our community, past and present. We pray especially to, for our dear sister Jane in Coventry, who's struggling today and who is really unwell. We send our dear sister our love and the assurance of our prayers, as we do to dear Nancy in Mexico and her amazing project of trying to reach out to the poorest of the poor and that God will send her the help that she needs for her son and his partner, Andrea. We pray for dear sister Buffy in New York, for dear Eleanor. We pray for sister Jackie and her family in Idaho, for Teresa in Manchester and for her mom, for dear sister Olivia, who's doing well now, for Sister Diane in Lancashire, for Sister Jane in Ormsker. We pray too for Brother Matthew in Texas, for Brother Brian, our Franciscan trucker, for Brother Liam in London, for Murray, for Rob, for Brother Paul here, for dear Brother Harry, and we mustn't forget dear Sister Miriam in New Zealand, also struggling, with mental health issues. We pray for our dear friend Maggie in London and for the soul of her son who was cruelly murdered a month or two ago. We pray also for Sister Corazon de los Santos, her beautiful son Daniel, and for her brother Faustian who needs prayer. For Skip, and Thomas Aquinas Q on our Google Hangout friends. We pray for all those on social media, for Sister Veronica Paul on Twitter, and for Caroline on the Isle of Wight, and for the many, many, many souls who ask for prayer, for those on our prayer list. And thank you, Jan, for Brother Sean, my aunt, ah, me, thank you. But we pray for our pets, our beautiful pets that bring us so much love. I want to thank God for our 10 beautiful white fantail doves of peace, our five hens and our two pooches, one of which, Brother Louis, who has no monastic manners whatsoever. He's a little thief, but we love him and he's full of fun, especially when he brings me twigs into my bed and I'm not there and I get into my bed and I suddenly find, whoops, what's that? He's always bringing me little gifts from the garden. Alleluia. So let us now just be still as we say thank you, God, for His Holiness the Dalai Lama, for Queen Elizabeth, our reigning monarch, a beautiful woman, 
head of the Church of England and for Pope Francis, head of the Catholic Church and Tichnahan, and for all the men and women of all the different faith communities who have dedicated their life for global unity and peace. And we pray for the many who have no faith, for those who've lost their faith. And we pray for those within the Christian family who are celebrating Lent, that they open their hearts to Christ's love. And that those who are prone to judgment and lacking compassion towards others within the Christian family and without, that the Lord will touch them today and give them a forgiving heart. And especially for those who struggle with forgiveness. And finally, we pray for the soul of Martin McGuinness, the Deputy First Minister of Northern Ireland, who was a member of the IRA in Londonderry. And the power of prayer turned that man's life around after 20 odd years of being a member of that organization to becoming an exceptional politician who gave 10 years of his life supporting the peace process in Northern Ireland. And he died today, age 66, of a rare heart condition. So we say, Lord, you have given us an example that yes, you can turn things around for us if we're willing to surrender our heart to you. Let us now pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, Mother God, you have called each one of us here to celebrate the gift of your Son to us this Lent. Lead us not astray. Forgive us for the times when we have doubted you, when we've run away from you. Forgive us for the times when we have chosen to be lacking in forgiveness and compassion. Forgive us for hurting you. And thank you for taking on board our wickedness and evil deeds when you hung on a cross and you said, it is finished. Lead us not astray, but protect us from delusions of grandeur, from evil, despondency and depre depression. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And our closing prayer comes from the Office of Lords for this Tuesday morning in Lent. Do not withdraw your grace from us, Lord. By it alone we can give ourselves wholly to your service and obtain your help in our every need. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus the Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. And that, dear friends, brings us to the end of morning prayer. Let us focus on the light, representing the Christ light, Christ consciousness. And I thank the Lord for honouring his word to us, that when we call upon him and ask his help, he will deliver. I thank the Lord Jesus for touching dear Jane, for touching each one of you here and all whom we have prayed for this morning. Amen. Go in peace to love and to serve our God. Namaste, shalom, inshallah, pax et bonum, om shanti, solo di carita, salam alaikum, and may the peace of God a God of many names, reawaken in your heart that you are loved, that your life does matter to God, and that you will live this day as if it were your last day, and celebrate your life in joy, in peace, but remember those who have lost loved ones and lost health. Amen. If this is your bedtime, sleep well. If not, go out and dance with the angel of joy. Peace, till we meet again.